But what I love about your mention of Shaun of the Dead is that I'm literally in that film for 30 seconds. I don't think that film would have worked without me. There's only one man brainless enough to steal from the syndicate. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. I don't know what we do without you. Samson, uh, what tea are we drinking here? <laughs> yes, right, we're having chamomile, but you'd say chamomile? Would you say chamomile? Yeah, chamomile, yep. <laughs> it's chamomile. And is that- It's a, the best tea. Uh, it's it's the not best really tea. tea, it's just hot, hot bath water. And is that a Christmas <laughs> tree behind you? It is. Noel is giving me crap and everyone, I've, I've heard his bad luck now. It needs yeah, yeah, to go yeah. down. I do realize that. Yeah, no, I'm really worried for you now. I think we need to send a team round to get that out of your house. I mean, it's taken a while for me to like really figure this out that this is still overdue. So that's a problem in uh, itself. And it also looks like it's sort of growing out of your head. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, you need a filter. I think so. I Love think so. Filter. Well, at least after these interviews, now I'm fully aware. So that's the good thing we're taking yeah, away from. So me. yeah, cut to Jim later. Get this bomb, get these things off, baubles, get them out of my life. <laughs> yeah, it will not be there by season two. So that's that's a promise for sure. Okay. Yeah, we make remake, you know, the se the second season quite slowly. So get on it, mate. <laughs> I will. <laughs> uh tell me how much fun did you guys have? We, we get to see what happens like when it's the cameras are rolling, but what is the stuff that happened when the cameras weren't rolling? Is there a story or a bunch of shenanigans you can share about that you guys had? Um, filming's really boring and repetitive and um, cold a lot of the time. So I was oh, quite well, glad. Fair. I think we need to just be get some people to be quiet outside this room. So I'm really sorry to interrupt you. You will get all of your time, Jim. Guys! Sorry. Did you see there was a bit of Lady Helen that came through there? I did. It's very well done. Fucking right on, on the mark. Yeah, I didn't uh, see it. How satisfied were you with your costume? I think the costumes are a big part of this. these characters and show. Did you like how, how they outfitted you? The costume designer, Rosa Diaz, is a magician. She magics beauty out of thin air, like with, with, with gold. And she has this incredible team around her. And she will say, I think we want this. And on Monday, it doesn't exist. And on Friday, when you're actually filming in it, it exists. You know, they're like shoemaker's elves that come out, not nude, at night and make these beautiful things. Uh, but I did say to her, because I didn't know, I said, Rosa, I don't, I don't want to wear a corset and I know it's in the 18th century, please don't put me in a corset. I thought it would be a deal breaker. They'd say, well, okay, we'll get someone else in. Um, uh, someone who you. is happy, who's happy to wear a corset. I don't want to wear a corset. So she made those incredible dresses. No corset. You lucked out. That That is a costume designer right there. You know, appealing and listening to the actor. Yeah, thank you. And you didn't just listen to the dress. So yeah, I've arrived. There you go. Uh, you've been part of the Shaun of the Dead, and now you're part of Dick Turpin. Um, what would happen if these two characters came together, or if Simon Pegg and Noel uh, came together? What which, which would be more interesting, you think, to watch? Well, I think zombies in uh, at the time of Dick Turpin would be an interesting amalgam. Imagine Great if concept. Dick Turpin, like like, was a highwayman and he nabbed a coach that was full of zombies and he like let these zombies out into the world and they didn't actually exist in that world. But now that they, he's like done that to the coach, now they exist in the world. I mean, that's really dangerous, and he's got to do some thinking about that. That is, there's a show right there. You just had a pitch, okay? So I hope Apple's um, listening because we yeah. have something cooking here. But what I love about your mention of Shaun of the Dead is that I'm literally in that film for 30 seconds. I don't think that film would have worked without me. I Those 30 seconds are the most important 30 seconds. So yeah, let's let's right? take that and then put it right there, frame it. Uh, quickly, go on Twitter to Simon Pegg and tell him, make sure he knows. I'm sure he's aware. Those 30 seconds make the all the deal in the world. And uh, finally, as I wrap here, any idea where that cartwheel is going? Because it's just constantly rolling. Uh, are we going to see it come through here or is it finally slowed down? And 
It's um, rolling, it's rolling. Just love, love the cartwheel as it rolls over you and squashes you and all of your family because, you know, it's it's a beautiful thing, that cartwheel that's coming through to your life. I just hope it squashes this tree, then I don't have to take it down. So oh, yeah, and take it with it. <laughs> there you go. Tamsin, this was a blast. Uh, thanks for playing along and I'll talk to you soon.